CataractCoach.com. ASCRS case number 11. Reposition a toric IOL. So here's a patient who had a toric lens placed about six months ago, and its axis is off by about 90 degrees. So first thing is we only make two paracentesis incisions. No need for a main incision here. We'll fill the eye with viscoelastic. We don't want too big of a fill. You want a normal pressure of viscoelastic in the eye. Maybe get a 60-70% fill. No more than that. Now we're going to get the viscoelastic here on the needle now and get under that rexus edge. So 27 or 30 gauge needle. I like 27. Sharp needle on the viscoelastic, dispersive viscoelastic in this case, to get under that. And we'll go across and get under that rexus edge. Don't damage the capsule. Just create a little bit of a gap there and inject the viscoelastic. Bevel down, you noticed. Now we'll go with the spatula and help kind of open up that area, create a little bit of a gap. And we can really get that around 360. Use the two pairs that are opposite each other to get full access there. And now we can see, can we lift up the lens? You can get some movement of it. I don't want it to use a ton of viscoelastic. We need some, but you got to be careful. I don't want to leave viscoelastic behind the optic. I want the new position to stay there and not have that viscoelastic as a lubricant. So we freed up the one haptic, but the other haptic is still stuck. So you'll see there, don't force it. Use the spatula again and go break those adhesions, which you can't see because of the caps or bag equator. Once those adhesions are broken, now the lens can be rotated. The correct meridian is here, but the 180 meridian. And at the end here, we're going to do a bimanual IA. Once we get the lens in good position, verify its, its orientation. So I have a uh, bimanual IA set up here. The right hand is the aspirator from the transformer handpiece, and we're going behind the optic to remove that viscoelastic. And on the left hand is just a 23 or 25 gauge IV cannula just being used as infusion. And that looks great. So we've rotated it by only using two pairs and TCs in a very effective and efficient surgery. And that gives the patient a really nice outcome. So you may have to do this at some point in the future. Now you know how to. And then at the end, ensure water tightness of the incisions. Let's show you another one. Another interesting one is an exchange of an IOL, but the haptic is stuck. So how do you free this without damaging the capsular bag? Patient had femtosecond laser-assisted cataract surgery done about six or seven months ago, and the patient has a trifocal lens that is just not tolerated. So making a paracentesis, now you notice that we're sitting at the superior place, superior position. The patient has some residual stigmatism at 90 degrees, so we're going to sit there and make our incision at about that steep meridian of the astigmatism to neutralize that. We're not going to use the old incision. Now we'll get under there, you know the technique now, 27 gauge needle, bevel down to get a little viscoelastic under the ex, uh, edge of the rexus, use the spatula to help spread that open, and then just go around nice and easy in all directions, and we can really separate that. But remember, the issue here is going to be that haptic can be stuck at the caps or bag equator, especially this lens that has a bulbous tip. So there's a viscodissection going behind the optic, dispersive viscoelastic to help separate that. And we'll see, can we get this out there? So we'll try to break some adhesions using the spatula. And are we able to get the lens free? Yeah, the one haptic comes up. But in this case, there'll be a stuck haptic. That's stuck. Don't pull on it. Use the spatula again. Break the adhesions. Try again. Not enough. Try one more time. Break any adhesions there and try again. Still not enough. Don't break the, the bag or the zymal attachments. Now you freed it up. And now you can get that lens up and we can exchange it and take it outside the eye. And so the key here really is to be delicate and deliberate and give yourself plenty of time. It's not easy to explain these lenses sometimes. You just have to be patient to really dissect it free without damaging the capsule bag. Thanks for watching.